Hey, ninth grade students, I just want to show you a few things um, as you work on your language and dialect mini poster. First thing I want you to do is go to ericksonenglish.com. You want to scroll down to the English 9 section and click on the US Dialects mini unit. The first thing that I want to show you is how to use the template. So if you click on template, it's going to take you to the example that I showed you in class. Uh, you need to make sure that you're logged into your Google Drive. Um, and if you are, what's going to happen is when you go to File, you're going to see that it allows you to make a copy. You want to go ahead and put your last name, your item that you're focusing on, and type in that it's a mini poster. When you click OK, it'll save a copy into your Google Drive, and you'll now be able to edit. So for example, if I have the word ant, I will be able to change that here on the template. I'm going to go ahead and change mine back here. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you, if we go on back to the class website, we're going to click on the database, and this should look familiar. We've been working uh, with this in class. And I'm just going to show you how to pull the image into your Google uh, Doc. Um, so you're going to go and you're going to select the, your item. So in my case, that was Carmel. And this is the image that I'm going to pull into my uh, mini poster. So if I go back to my mini poster, right, I already did this one, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that so you can get a sense of what you're actually doing. And I'm going to go back here to the database, and you can actually just pull this off and drag it to your Google Doc and plop it in here. You're going to notice that it will pull it in. You're probably going to have to resize a little bit so that it fits in there correctly. And we'll delete that space. You can even make it a little bit bigger here. Um, and so that's the easiest way to get that image, that composite image, into your mini poster. And then just remember, obviously, you're going to be changing all this information in the template um, so that it matches the information that you collected on your graphic organizer.